Hello everybody, welcome to this uh, video. We just want to introduce to you how to use animation uh, with UI elements. So I uh, just want to give you a scenario here. I like to uh, draw things. So here we just got uh, the game scene. So we have the menu here. Let me just draw it here. So we have the menu with all these patterns. First thing, I just want to uh, add uh, a thing here to close the menu. So we have to add a button to close the menu. Also, I need to uh, cl create a button here. Let's say uh, we have a button here. Once we click on this button, we're just going to uh, uh, play the animation for the menu and play it. Once we click in the X button here, we're just going to close the menu. So we need to understand how to work with buttons and do the event handling for the bands. Uh, so the animation that we're going to do here is the following. We have this menu. And this menu, uh, we're just going to put it uh, uh, initially. Uh, we're just going to put it at the top here. So once you click in the button here, once you click in the button, we're just going to uh, toggle the menu to the little bit down. And after you click on the X button here, we're just going to uh, toggle it off. But once we click here, we have to uh, disable this button. All right. We have to set active this button to false because we want to hide it. And once you click here, we're just going to show it up again. So, so there's something called an animation state. So we have, uh, uh, we have animation state. So initially when you work with animation, especially in Unity 5, uh, we have to start with something called entry. So we start with entry state. And from entry state, we go to another thing called uh, the first animation state. So let's say uh, in the first animation state, we don't have any animation. So I'm just going to say there's no animation here. So let's say uh, no anime, no, no, let's say no menu animation. Okay. No menu anim. So once you click on the button there, you, we're just gonna uh, uh, fire a, a flag or change a flag. And this flag is known as transition flag. So let's say uh, slide, the menu is, the, the option name is slide down menu, for example, slide down menu or well, let's say slide, uh, slide the menu okay so once we toggle this uh, slide the menu uh, flag we're just gonna run another animation so this animation is known as uh, slide down slide slide down menu option and once once we set this, for example, to true, we're just gonna slide down the, the uh, slide down the menu. Once we uh, once we set this slide the menu flag to false, so once this slide the menu flag is false, we're just gonna uh, toggle another uh, animation, which is here. Let me just come here. Slide up. Slide up menu. Okay. So once this slide up menu is executed, once this uh, flag is turned to false, we're just going to back here and back to the normal state here. So slide. The same thing. The same uh, thing here. So this is just a basic animation. I just want to, uh, I just want want you to, to learn how to create this basic animation. All right. So let me just paste this here. All right. So again, uh, in order to understand the flow that we have, uh, we just uh, start with an entry. So all the time we move with this entry. And after that, we have an ideal state. So in this state, we don't have anything. We do we do nothing. All right. So once we set the flag here to true, we're just gonna move to slide down menu, and the menu just gonna reset there. So we're just gonna remain there for a while. Once that flag is changed back to false, all right, we're just gonna back to the initial state, which is uh, the the no menu uh, animation. So we're just going to do this uh, practically in Unity using the animation for 
uh, the menu in the next lesson. Thank you guys again for watching. See you in the next lesson.